Okay, being all black folks, and I apologize for the bad sound, but at the same time, you need to go watch this video for the sound, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it with no sound this time. What I'm showing you is the actual fact. Nickel, in tons of around the world, and also in underneath the earth, mining companies, uh, anybody who is into... Uh, I don't have the word on my tongue right now, but what I'm trying to show everybody is the idea that astrophysics in astrophysics, there's tons of nickel in lots of objects that have ever hit Earth. Okay. Uh, Earth has a lot of nickel in it. Okay. Uh, nickel heated. I'm going to show you nickel heated. I did show you nickel heated. You couldn't really hear me. Uh, because I was playing the to give you the sound signal. Everything that goes through our atmosphere here, anything that goes through space has a sound signal. Remember, I'm an expert at communications, sound signals, megahertz, okay, anybody who's into electrical instruments and stuff like that, and then communications. Yes, being all black and an expert in communications. Okay, so now I communicated to you and showed you the sound scientifically and everything like that. Now there's tons of stuff to know. Pan stars was just pan stars. It's not a comet. As you can watch in this video, you will see the brightness of it and the largeness of it. Uh, all these videos of recent, I showed you the footage from out in space. And it has a signature, and I can point to it. It has a magnetical signature to it. It's either a big orbitable. That means it's an orbital. It means it orbits like a satellite around a supergiant star, a sun. Okay. I apologize for that up there, but basically just showing you that you need to go check all these videos out. It's all actual factual webcam, space, actual pictures from Earth looking out into space, also in space, space data from NASA, photos that do not lie to you, they tell you the truth, also from webcams from research facilities around the world and so forth and so such. Okay, so watch all these videos. And in this video, as I scream back up to the top, if you go to this video, the sound is terrible because what I was doing is playing the sound signal. So if you want to hear the sound signal of this stuff, which is basically, that is nickel. A round ball of nickel that a guy heated up. And there, I have four different videos that are combined into the video. Okay, And I can go over here to where we just basically go to where I loaded that video up. But I've got this here, and I can blow this up to full size, and we'll play it with no sound. And I will give you the actual factual because I I showed a lot of people where to go ahead and get to my video this guy's great cars and water dude you're great you're awesome okay big thanks to him okay he's got this video which he heats up this nickel okay puts it in the ice and you see that's basically pan stars going through space right there okay it cools off now, I will take you to pan stars real fast because I can come back to this footage real fast because it's, I, I kept going back. He heats up the nickel and you go and you can get a good example of pan stars going through space. Okay, because pan stars would cool off. Which pan stars doesn't. Eventually, someday it might, but it's going to have to do it through millions of years, billions of years, who knows. Okay. So we come down on size and we'll come back to this because I got this plane, okay? We'll come back to this and I take you to the actual factual. See, that's the video that I made there, but I had bad sound. So I go ahead along and I will get uh, us to, I've got pan stars pegged up here of where I had the pan stars video and I can blow this up. This is the footage out of, and I'll come down in size, but see, we had pan stars come by and this was it was this hot. Okay, this is a thermal imaging of a photograph, okay? So no matter what, with the signature that we get through what I've showed you in the videos, that it has a magnetical, and it came by Earth straight up. So basically now, with you knowing, and I'll take you back to the footage, and we'll come down on size here on the video that I made on this, but it takes a lot more than one video to make everybody real, realize that Pan Stars was not, and just call it Pan Stars, Pan Stars was not a comet. Now, the factual is, is I can go back to our footage here that we've got going with it in uh, no sound going. And you see that it goes through 
this heated piece of nickel goes straight through the ice like butter just like it's going to be going through space so ie we have pan stars a basically pan star didn't have too much nickel in it okay because we're having a little bit of a playing problem with the and here we go and then we we'll, can speed it up a little bit to get to where it's going through the ice okay here goes pan stars through space correct it doesn't have pan stars doesn't have much nickel in it and it, it, this proves it because the nickel will cool off and back up the footage and go back to me showing you that basically an infrared shot of pan stars it's not a comet it's not an asteroid because you'll hear the sound and so forth that it when it goes through uh, water getting cooled off because I've got nickel in a in a water showing you that he puts it in water he shows it and then you also get the sound signal from that so I'll back it up a little bit he's got it flaming hot and you're just dealing with me with the player right now and I don't have any player issues or anything like that okay this should take off with him putting it in the water now it's ceramic so the idea it does put off a different signal and I told you basically a good investment because the idea that there's going to be computer chips coming up that are going to be coated in ceramic and their connections and their uh, sending units and their basically their connections their communication connections inside your computer and stuff like that are going to be coated in ceramic to make them cool and run quieter your internal guts of your computers okay so yes anybody who's got computer chips that are going to be coming out coated in ceramics is going to be a big investment okay big big investment tip to you okay Basically, the biggest chip makers in the world are fighting over the paying for the patents for these computer chips that will be able to be made with certain types of ceramic with a patent that's probably not really patented yet. But the idea that this hot, hot molted uh, piece of nickel got put into a ceramic, and you got to go back and listen to the one that had the sound where you couldn't really hear me telling you any factual of the idea that's basically pan stars going through space even though it's in water and not going through the ice okay so pan stars and why I'm having troubles with the player here I do not factually know right now we won't know because the idea that we're just having problems and then it goes to basically and you can go back to where I played and you'll hear all the sound of what the nickel makes when it goes when it's cooling off and stuff like that because what I made a mistake was of taping it with the sound and I couldn't uh, be able to tell you the factual now there's a piece of nickel in there in that water there okay he puts it in there heated and you can go back to the video that I've got of basically I made this video here hot hotty nickel fact be no black okay you go to that video there okay and then you will realize that pan stars okay factually was not a comet and you can also know by its tail that I've showed you in a lot of footage and no matter what you're looking at an infra infrared shot right here of pan stars and there was more material than just pan stars with it okay and yes this might be the blackness could be coolness okay the icy material that might have came off it when it came close to the Sun and so forth but no matter what, the nucleus of that object is like this. A baby Earth. Okay? A baby star. So basically, pan stars is a star, no matter what. Or a planetoid orbital. Orbital. Orbital of a supergiant sun. In the Milky Way galaxy, highly, highly proportional integrated derivatives correct. Outside the Milky Way galaxy, still a thin possibility smaller possibility remember earth and the sun the sun is working its way directionally slowly back into the milky way galaxy okay the sun as far as i know we know you know we don't really know which it's always an ongoing study we as far as we know the planetoid objects that rotate around our sun and are going towards a direction back into the milky way galaxy to the center of the milky way galaxy okay as far as our rotation of our following the Sun at more than 66,000 miles an hour okay and we rotate around the Sun but we don't we are following the Sun we are getting dragged behind the Sun the Sun goes into the Milky Way galaxy and or if someone wants to say and try to prove that it's going out of the Milky Way galaxy that's fine 
whether it's going into the Milky Way galaxy or going out of the Milky Way galaxy, we follow the sun, we get drugged behind Earth, which is E, okay? Earth is E, okay? So Earth is basically got a old baby from somewhere in the Milky Way galaxy or somewhere in space that came through our solar system, okay? Because that's a hot baby sun, that's a hot baby star, it's not a comet. Doesn't have a lot of nickel because it would have cooled off, okay? Going through the millions of miles, hundred millions of years they figured that it took to get just to our solar system, okay? Here on, in the closest thing we know, which is Earth's solar system here. And as you see, we still have a player issue right here, right, going on right now. And that's no big deal. So you watch this video, which has real, I'm um, really apologize about the sound, but you see, you hear this sound signature of nickel, which he heats up and puts into water in a glass or crystal bowl, it doesn't really matter. Crystal, it would make a little difference, okay? Whether this is a crystal bowl or a glass bowl, he didn't really denounce, okay? I take this as probably just being a typical glass bowl, okay? Crappy old glass bowl that he had laying around, okay? And it cooled the nickel off, okay? So you watch the video, this one, the one I made, and it has the sound from his video and so forth and so such, and you can kind of make out what I'm telling you, the actual fact that pan stars didn't have too much nickel in it because pan stars didn't cool off, okay? I.e., if I go back in the video here, which I think I can get it queued up, and no, I don't. So then I got it, basically. I know why this ain't playing. But uh, and computer experts will be able to figure that out, too, and know why that it's not playing right now, okay? But I can go back to the actual factual. Pan stars was not a comet, okay? Pan stars was not a comet, okay? Pan stars wasn't a comet. Because I'm at 400% here and I can point, and I'm basically just pointing at my videos, but basically, as you know, I've showed you the magnetical, okay? Every comet we've ever seen, we've never seen a magnetical, okay? We've seen a comet rushing along. We've never seen the magnetical line like that of this is pan stars. Don't call it a comet. It's not a comet. Uh, I'm showing you factual that pan stars, you've seen how huge it is by the actual NASA footage, okay? You can watch all these videos. And also stuff possibly associated with it that we have caught in videos that I have caught. I don't know why I always say we. I have caught this stuff from footage that you get from, you know, I, say, I guess I'm saying we is the military and NASA because then basically pan stars I give you the update and stuff like that and I'll give you more pictures of pan stars from space just because I'll give you the newest updated stuff there's a great experiment here with nickel that I show you here and you'll get to hear all the sound but you don't get to hear my because I taped it real fast I put it up on the internet because I want everybody to reason realize scientifically it didn't have a lot of nickel in it pan stars didn't have a lot of nickel in it okay because it's still red hot, okay? And it's still zooming through space, okay? So basically, it's also an orbital of a supergiant star, or it's just a planet or star falling through space, okay? And it fell through our Milky Way galaxy and through our solar system, or it's actually an orbital of a supergiant star somewhere in the Milky Way galaxy, highly percentages-wise, yes, proportional integral derivatives, very low that it's outside the Milky Way galaxy, but there's still a slim possibility there. But it didn't have a lot of nickel in it, and it hasn't cooled off big time, and it was bright. And it got brighter after the crusty snow capish melted off that it went by the sun, you see, and then it's still bright, and it's still cruising off out into space. And it's large, damn large, okay? And it didn't have a lot of nickel in it, okay? And it's still hot now as it got warmed up coming by the sun, okay? This is all actual factual. It's not a comet, okay? A comet is an icy mass, supposedly, okay? And NASA's been learning more about that of recent, too, and I've showed you that in my video. So, actual factual. Pan stars ain't no flipping comet, okay? So, so for fact, you need to go through the excruciating pain of watching this video here that I made with the sound going from what actually happens when you actually physically 
put a molten piece of nickel into cooling ice or water, okay? And then you'll know Panstars wasn't a comet, okay?